San Francisco 49er quarterback Colin Kaepernick refused to stand for the national anthem to protest against America being so racist. I am not going to stand up to show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of colour, said Kaepernick. Right, so America oppresses black people so much that 68% of NFL football players are black and have enjoyed the massive wealth, spotlight and opportunity that America gave them. But Kaepernick has a right to ignore the national anthem. That's his first amendment. That's what our soldiers fought and died for. Of course Kaepernick has a right to do what he wants. That's not the argument. That's not the issue. The issue is this. Why does the left only rush to defend someone's right to free speech when they're using it to trash America. While if you so much as criticise a Ghostbusters movie, your free speech suddenly becomes hateful and divisive. Kaepernick is being hailed as a free speech martyr by the left for parroting Black Lives Matter rhetoric. But if you use your free speech to criticise Black Lives Matter, like these firefighters did, the left will hound and harass you until you're fired. The left will only defend your First Amendment when you exercise it to agree with them. Otherwise, they'll tar and feather you. And that's the issue. The left only cares about free speech when it's being weaponized to bolster fake leftist narratives like Black Lives Matter. This is also about Kaepernick regurgitating the debunked myth that there's a racist war against black people in America. Disproven by a new study by a black Harvard professor which shows there is no racial bias in police shootings. Disproven by the fact that cops kill twice as many white people despite blacks being vastly overrepresented in crime statistics. The entire narrative that underpins what Kaepernick said has been completely discredited. But Kaepernick cares so much about Black Lives Matter that out of his 144 million dollar income, he's donated precisely zero to Black Lives Matter. The half-white Kaepernick loves black people so much, he once called one the N-word during an argument. Perhaps Kaepernick should be more concerned about the damage illegitimacy within the black community wreaks on black lives, given that he was abandoned by his black father as a child, and raised by white parents who adopted him and treated him as their own. Because white America's so racist and Kaepernick is really oppressed. Kaepernick said he also refused to honour the anthem because he was tired of seeing, quote, bodies in the street. Yet he's repeatedly professed his sympathies for Islam after hooking up with Muslim activist Nessa Diab. And as we all know, there's no connection whatsoever between Islam and bodies in the street. What leftists are also keen to avoid is the one thing Kaepernick said that actually rang true, his criticism of Hillary Clinton. I mean, we have a presidential candidate who's deleted emails and done things illegally and is a presidential candidate. That, that doesn't make sense to me, because if that was any other person, you'd be in prison. In reality, Kaepernick is just trying to clamber aboard the lifeboat of social justice warrior grievance culture to make excuses for his failing career. The whole First Amendment debate is a distraction. That's not the issue. Of course he has a right to free speech, and I have the right to call him a hypocrite who's being used as a mouthpiece to spout bullshit leftist race-baiting narratives under the contrived guise of being a martyr for free speech. He's not a martyr for free speech. He's a puppet on a string and a complete idiot. So fuck Colin Kaepernick.